Hi dancers, welcome back to my channel. Today we're filming a really exciting video. It's how I break in my point shoes. So before we start these amazing hacks, make sure you subscribe and give this video a big like and thumbs up. So I'm obviously gonna start off by getting my brand new pair of point shoes. These are five and a half triple X block heritage. So as you all know, block heritage are my absolute favorite point shoes. That's what I wore every single day. As a professional, you can imagine, I used to do all sorts of things to my shoes, but I'm just gonna show you today the process I'd go through to really manipulate the shoe so it'd be ready for class and performances. So I naturally have quite wide feet, so I am wearing a triple X, but at the same time, for me, this box area would need to be as wide as possible before I could even think about putting my foot inside. <laughs> so first of all, I'm gonna stand on this part of the shoe, so the box, they call it, and I'm basically gonna place a chucks. Be right back. I'm gonna place a chucks just over the top of my shoes here. And basically, I'm gonna stand on top of them. <laughs> oh, you can hear that noise. It's so satisfying. Now you've just gotta make sure that it's just your heel going over the top of the shoe. And the reason why I put the chucks on there is just so obviously my shoes don't get dirty. <laughs> Okay, so when that's done, basically you can see now the shoes, they're definitely a lot flatter from the side view. What I'd normally do after that, I'd then actually just put my hand through and then lift the box back up again. So it sort of keeps the same original shape, but obviously it's still gonna be flatter and wider across here. Now the next most important part is to find the three quarter part of your shoe. So this depends on obviously the shape of your foot because everyone is so different, but I know my feet well enough to know that my three quarter area is about here. And to find this out for yourself, basically just put on your point shoe and just have a look to where your heel starts. So as you can see, Mine's sitting about there where I was pointing before. And as I said, this is different for everyone. But once you find your three quarter area, basically I am going to bend the shoe from there. So everyone just listen out for this. <laughs> for me, this was a really important step. Just bend it backwards and forwards in that same area because it means then when you're on point, that area there, that three quarter area we're pointing to, your foot will actually bend right there. You don't want it to be bending too low here. Like a lot of people they find when they're on point, it can look quite clawy. So bending it up here sort of shapes to your own foot a lot more and it looks a lot more natural when you're on point. So this is why I love doing this step. Okay, now I'll do it to the other one. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> This takes muscles. Oh, geez, this is a workout. <laughs> I'm actually shaking. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. Right, that part of my shoe, I think is officially bent. Be very careful that you don't bend the center. So like what I was saying before, you really don't want that clawy look on point. So be very careful of this area. It's literally just up there you wanna be bending. So the next step I do is basically bend the demi point a little bit. Now, you know how I just said, be very careful of this area. So all we're simply trying to do is bend slightly higher. So there, it's almost like where your metatarsals actually bend in your foot, because obviously we wanna have that manipulated as well. So when you do go on demi point, it's really easy and it doesn't feel really stiff when you're trying to pass through that three quarter demi point. I would only do this a little bit like that much. That's all I do because I, I'm very careful of that because I obviously don't want to be bending here. So you just hear a few little cracks. Don't be scared. <laughs> okay, the next part, I'm gonna make some noise. So obviously now we want to make sure when we're dancing on point or we're running or we're jumping or whatever we're doing in point shoes, we want to sound like a fairy. So basically I would bang this area right here. So I just bang the tops together. I try and aim for, see, like I've just pointed there, but see right there of the shoe, that's the area we're sort of targeting. So when you do land from a jump, you don't get that noise. Instead, you get. Oh my God. See, that's a bit lighter. A little bit.
Yeah, it definitely makes a difference. Okay, so <sighs> again, that's like another arm workout. But that area there, if that softens a little bit, it's really gonna help the landings from jumps in point shoes. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my point shoes. Now I've actually found an amazing product that I really want to recommend to you all. So it's called On Point Orthotics. So some of you may or may not be aware of it, but basically, I'll show you. So they look like this. And basically, this is molded to my foot specifically. So each individual gets a mold of their own foot. Now, when I wear these and when I'm on point, I actually feel absolutely no pain. So when I was dancing, I used to suffer from really bad big toe pain. And it wasn't like a blister. It was honestly just big toe pain. I think just from being on point for hours and hours. And when we used to have like double shows of Swan Lake, my toes would really suffer. Now. I have discovered these and these are actually so incredible. So when I wear them, I feel no pain whatsoever. I can still feel the floor, but I just don't have any pain. So I really wanna recommend these to you all because I really have found them amazing for me personally. So I'm gonna basically put these on and I'll tell you a little bit more about them as well when I'm putting them on. So the EPOs, they're perfect for dancers that have bigger bunions or a second toe that's longer than their bigger toe, just all sorts of issues like that. Or even if you just have pain when you're on point, these are honestly perfect. As I said, they're molded to each individual and the material inside, basically it's rigid enough so that it holds all of your toes in place while you're on point and the joints, obviously but it also allows for that movement when you're coming down through the floor and through your demi point. So as I said, you can still feel the floor. So all I need to wear is my EPOs. Now, all I simply do is just slide them straight on. And because as I said, it's molded to my foot, they easily slide on top like that. And now I'm gonna put my point shoe on. And as I said, I have no pain right now, amazing. I've never felt that before. <laughs> Normally I'm in a lot of pain when I'm on point, so this is genius. And I think they're so cute, the little box they come in. Like, look at that amazing box, so adorable. Wearing these, you shouldn't get blisters either. They prevent those as well if you suffer from blisters. So for all my dancers that are on the Gold Coast or in Brisbane, you can get 10% off your On Point Orthotics. So all you need to do is go to www.onpointorthotics.com.au and mention my name, Claudia Dean, and you will receive 10% off your first EPOs. And you could also email admin at onpointorthotics.com.au as well. And dancers, when you're on their website or you're contacting them via email, just keep in mind there's fitters for On Point Orthotics all around the globe and the fitters come to you. So On Point Orthotics will organize that for you. So make sure you contact On Point Orthotics to get yours today. So now I'm gonna go on my point shoes, pain free. It feels so good to be on point, not in any pain. Like I don't feel anything other than the floor. It's just amazing. Now dancers, I'm actually going to go and wet the heel of my shoe, so there, because basically when I wet my heel, it tightens the satin and it means it grips to my heels more. So I'm gonna come and show you what I'm gonna do there. Now dancers, the next step I'm going to do is basically continue to bend this area of my shoe, the three quarter area. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get my knee and I'm gonna dig it in. Like that. It's not as painful as it looks, I promise. <laughs> like that. Yeah, because that pressure from my knee, it just bends the shoe in just a little bit more. And the very last thing I always used to do to my shoes as well, was I used to actually just sit here like this for about two to five minutes to really get this part of my foot super duper stretched. And when I did that, I just felt like I could dance straight away afterwards. It was just like my little hack that I always used to do. 
Now dancers, I hope you enjoyed me showing you how I break in my point shoes. So of course, everyone's so different as I said before, so you don't have to do these little hacks that I did, this is just what worked for me. But also, don't forget to subscribe as always, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.